Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment is Skyward Collapse. It is developed and published by either Arkin Games or Arson Games. It's spelled with a C, but I'm not actually sure if you're supposed to pronounce it with a S or a K. Here's what the game has to say about itself. How do you balance, and indeed encourage, a war between factions without letting either side obliterate the other? How do you rule over gods, creatures and men who refuse to obey you? How do you build a landscape of villages when bandits and mythology are conspiring to tear it down? Skyward Collapse places you into the role of the creator and frees you to tackle these problems. Let's, tr let's try that one again. Skyward's Collab places you in the role of the creator and frees you to tackle these problems your own way. Brought to you by the developer of the modern strategy classic AI Wars Fleet Commander, Arkin's second full strategy title is e equally unique but far easier to learn. A turn-based 4x strategy, <laughs> strategy god game. Your task is to build and populate the floating continent of Luminith you create, but cannot control, gods, creatures, and, artif and artifacts from both Greek and Norse mythology. The power you wield with these is immense. Heimdall's horn causes everybody outdoor to drop dead, for crying out loud. I should probably have <laughs> read that a little more dramatic. Let's try it one more time. The power you wield with these is immense. Heimdall's horn causes everybody outdoors to drop dead for crying out loud. Your task is to keep both factions alive and fighting until the master calls you home. But this is harder than it sounds. Bandits keep pop up pop up pop up, heh. Bandit keeps pop up periodically. As do vows such as floods, serial killers, guild strikes, and vegetarian uprising. Every game plays out differently and you'll need even the craziest of your powers in order to survive what lies to survive what lies in store for you. Very much uh, complicated text, very not really sure the English is there all the way, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see what the game has to offer, shall we? Let's go for a tutorial, please. Your job as the creator is to achieve balance. Red and blue will try to obliterate each other and you must find a way for both of them to thrive without either side getting wiped out. This tutorial will guide you through one of the ways to set up your world, but this is far from the only way to do so. Follow the instructions at the top of your screen to progress. If you want to reread the full instructions for your current step, however, your hover your cursor over the one liner at the top of the screen. Later on in the game, the part, that part of the screen will warn you of upcoming events called woes and that you will need to be prepared for. You can, oh, upcoming events called woes that you need to be prepared for. You can hover over those too. The reason why I'm reading this so meticulously is because I've skipped the tutorials before and it has gotten me exactly nowhere. Every game you play starts with a brief setup round, during which everything you play will be free of charge. But once the age of man, the start of the actual game begins, placement of buildings and actions will cost resources. Alrighty then, build a barracks. This is where your infantry units are created. Once you've placed the barracks, you will be able to hover over the building to see what other buildings and resources are required to make the various units. Building more than one of these will increase your military production as long as you have enough of the appropriate resources. Fair enough, it's basically what every type of game in this genre does. To place a tile, click the bar on the left, click the tile you want to place and then click on the map where you want to place it. So, field, ah this is a little hover over to see what this field actually is. So, we want a military unit, military building, we want a barracks. And uh, uh, scroll in and out with the mouse scroll wheel. We'll just place it there. Oh, and it pops up from 
the abyss. Build a pig farm. This is pig, a raw resource. Pigs are used to make bacon. Glorious bacon. Uh, a finished good that is essential for the barracks troops. Building multiple pig farms gets you more pigs faster. But for now, only build one. All raw resources are stored globally for each faction. If pigs are produced in one town, they can be used in all towns of the same factions. Oh, so trading routes seem to be in effect. Let's see. Resource producers. We want a pig farm. Do you guys see the pig farm? Finished goods. Carpenter, butcher, bakery, fletcher, smelter, jeweler, potter, well, deer, brewery. Build a pig farm. It's a raw resource, so it should be here. Butcher? Mm, missing pig farm. So, already the tutorial has failed us. Unless... No? Build a pig farm. Produces pigs, a raw resource. Pigs are used to make bacon and finished goods that are essential to the bird. So how do we build a pig farm? We need to get the pigs to the bakery. Oh, the pig is the... I am stupid beyond belief. All right, now we need a butcher. The butcher was next to it. Each town needs its own butcher though. So we got the resources, raw materials are global and the refineries are local. Mm. A single finished good producer. Lots of texts. We've wasted enough time already. Iron mine. Do we need to place it in a special plate? Iron is used for a myriad of things, including weapons and buildings. Building multiple mines lets you get more iron per turn. But for now, I'll only build one. Raw, and do we see iron? Iron mine. No idea if we're actually, if we keep building here, will we block off anything? There's no indication that would happen. Oh yeah, build a smithy. Here we go, Smithy. Place a light elf. We found in the mythology section of the left sidebar. Light elves cause allied units to heal faster. Land tiles, other buildings, miller, military, gods, mythology. Light elf. Okay, did, did it say where we want it to be placed? Difference in human, the human's units are produced automatically. Can be placed anywhere in the map, anytime you feel like it, provided you have resources. It's actually a super bad idea to place mythological units this early in the game. Yeah, but it's a tutorial, so yeah. Just so you see how it works. Usually you would place this in reaction to some imbalance in battles. Yeah, but we're just gonna, mm, yeah, there, why not? A woodcutter seems like a raw material. Uh, wood, woodcutter. Can I build it? Yes, I can. And a carpenter. You guys see a carpenter? Uh, first tile. Brewery. Okay, do we actually need to build everything? I think most of these should be pretty self-explanatory, wouldn't they? Now you need to set up the blue faction. Oh, so I'm setting up both sides. Um, how do we scroll the... Ah. Mouse to the... You need to set up the blue faction, click end turn button on the left sidebar to progress. Uh, right, let's see. Yeah, uh, key buttons or mouse to the edge of the screen. And turn, now it's the blue turn. 
As one reaction, you probably want to place a mythological creature on the Greek side. Otherwise, that light, light elf will make you quite a mess. This time you're on your own, however. Okay. So, we want a barracks. We want a pig farmer. We want a butcher. We want a woodcutter. Cutter. And we want a carpenter. Let's see, we want a brewery. What else did we have over here? Iron mine. Smithy. And that's about it. Iron mine and smithy. Iron mine and a smithy. And a mythological creature. Said something about uh, don't use <laughs> Kerberos to count to the elf because he doesn't move and thus she can go right around him. He's great at guarding bottlenecks, but you don't have any at the moment. The sides are not equal in strength. The Norse have much weaker human military, but generally stronger mythological creatures and tokens. Plan accordingly. Now might be a good time to save your game if you want to try out different setups and then see how the first combat runs plays out. Okay, so no Kerberos, but how about Chimera? Chimera. And then we go to end turn. Now it's time to see the first bit of combat. Few notes. Units move and attack using action points. Units can cover overspend. Units can overspend their action points. The first bit of combat isn't going to be go smoothly. Battle sites and last turn report. I thought I was gonna like let just let these guys go. Last turn report on the left sidebar gives you a huge amount of details about what happened prior turn. And that's where is it? No idea. Just let's end turn. Are you guys doing anything? Ah, no, stuff is happening. Survive until turn four. Should be doable. Where you place the creatures mattered. Because the way action points work, a ranged unit that has to walk a long way before firing off shots will be less effective. Oldest units get to move first. Units' decisions vary. Help is on the way. You should be able to deal with the remaining creatures just by building a lot of human military to suppress them. Well, let's try it. Let's see, my mythological creatures are battling it out. Do we actually need to do anything? Oh, that's very haughty of you. Norse barracks are moving out. And what are the blue guys gonna do to counter? Nothing apparently. Where are the barracks? Did we not build the barracks? I'm pretty sure we built the barracks. Oh, there we are. Let's give you some more freedom to experiment around. The first bandit keeps. First bandit keep. Won't arrive until turn 10, so we can take a free time to try different things. There's a lot of text here, and they said this was the simpler of their games. Now, they're all gone. The mythological creatures are gone. The soldiers are gone. Everything's gone. So everything is in balance, isn't it? Survive the Age of Man. Now it's up to you. Yes, you can lose the tutorial, though you probably won't. But you know what? It's okay if you lose. You'll come back faster and stronger. 
and blaze through stuff that took you longer the first time. Save your game? No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to play through. Now, we got the same population, the same number of towns. We've got no bandits so far. So I guess we're just going to keep ending the turns. Now they have a military unit. And they have a military unit. And we can change the pace of the playback. There we go. This should actually balance out. I hope. Now we got bandits. So how do we want to deal with the bandits? Do we build more barracks? Yes, we do. Action points to place, one. Insufficient resource, lumber and stone. We need a mason. Rock quarry. And a mason. Thank you. And the same deal over here. All right, rock quarry and a mason. Now we should be able to build more barracks soon enough. Let's see here. Hmm. He's gonna need... Let's play some mythological, shall we? No, missing resources. That's no bueno. Hmm. How do we... Take this further, let's see. Fletcher, well, that's for range units. We could actually build an archery. Well, let's do that. And we need a Fletcher to supply the archers. And same thing here. Let's build our archery and a Fletcher. And let's just hope that this turns out the way. See, this is no bueno. Oh, we have uh, we have people guarding that place. That's good. That's good. Hmm. Fourteen population, uh, sixteen population. So red is a little bit behind. Mm hmm. How's the mythological side? Not too good. Not too good. Let's try something else. Let's just end the turn, actually, and see if those archers won't step up. Hmm. Now we're going after the bandits. This is interesting. Oh, those Greeks are actually quite powerful. Creation cost, incense. What do we need to... Hmm, create incense. Deer park, well. Bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. Jeweler. Branch, wheat, sheet, clay, sear. Ah, and for that we need pottery. And for pottery we need clay and a potter same thing here clay and potter and his name shall be Harry Harry the potter now do we have enough for us here nope need more pottery of course we do. We could build siege weapons, just for the sake of it. Hmm, but I th actually think we need another barracks over here. See if we can keep that balance going. Survive the Age of Man. How many turns is the Age of Man? This is turn 19. 
<laughs> Defensive towers rock. Defensive towers? Ah, towers. We need to cut more stone. And to cut more stone, we need... What do we need? We need a rock quarry. And a mason. Which I do... Cannot afford right now. But... Let's go with the balance thing. Another rock quarry over here. Let's see if we can't build a mason next turn. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Place more than one of this type per town. Okay. Well, now he's at least he's got more rocks to build stuff out of. Cost twenty, and I have thirteen. Well, let's just gather it up. Eleven. Yeah, let's just keep going then. No. Can we afford a tower yet? 18.33. I don't know how that equation works out, but... That's what it says. 16.33. Oh, well. Can we build another... Yeah, it's just... More rock quarries. But now I can't build more rock quarries for the red side because I already ended their turn, which was a mistake. Well, live and learn, live and learn. More rocks for you. I want a rock quarry. Now, there we go, a tower. How about you? Yes, you as well. How long is the age of man? How long is this tutorial? Mm -hmm. If some parts of the map turn depth spread, don't forget that you can plop down mythological creatures to rebalance a battle, upgrade a siege unit to your, uh, of yours to take out a bandit, keep faster. All right, we need to destroy those bandit towers. So we need Siege factory. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. See, read the tutorials. It's there to teach you what to do. I don't attack each other. Go for the bandits. Uh, let's see. See if we can't get a mythological. Nope, no incense. Did we actually build a seer before? I do not recall if we built a seer or not. Fletcher and woodcutter clay. All oh, right, we only build a potter. We did, we did not build a seer. So let's build a seer. Same deal for you. You need a seer as well. They have mountains. The red ones don't have mountains, do they? No, that's unfair. Hmm. Now. Hey, you're still alive. You've survived the first three ages of the game, and now it's the age of monsters. Sounds pretty scary. Now that this age has begun, a lesser god has appeared for each faction. Each god has a passive ability that you can read about by hovering over them and looking for at the tooltip. Three active tokens. Going to the turn of wows. Did you know you're facing right from the start of the game? Uh huh. Okay. A hero for the blue faction. Goddess of women and marriage. Just for the blue faction? No red? Uh, either way, let's build another mythal... <sighs> More incense. Well, not much we can do then. How about you? Nope. More incense, more... St 
steel. That would be the smithy, wouldn't it? New. Actually, it's the melter. So, okay, so let's build a melter. A smelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get a smelter as well. Don't worry. And... Now I forgot. What, why did I want the smelter? Oh, because they needed the smelter, not these guys. Horse meat cost... Let's just go for the incense there. Light up might be good. Mythological. Chimera needs... Uh, there we go. Incense. Can we build more? Oh, there's the red one. Heimdall, responsible for watching for the coming of Ragnarok. While Heimdall lives, all gods and all mythological creatures, both Alice and Amin, gain 1.5 boost to their maximum health. It's very kind of him to share in his uh, healthy upbringing. Now, the question becomes, are we having a good time with this game? And It may be too early to tell, but it's... I'm not finding it that engaging. I was kind of hoping for more. Not really sure what I was hoping for, but just... Mm, no. Incoming in nine turns, Atlas Shrugs. Score by turn 60, 27, and uh, uh, Red Bandits, Town, Population, yeah. All looks good. Let's just keep going for Incense and for the Minotaur. Now I have the Steel anyway. Why are you not building Siege Weapons? Because they're being destroyed. Hmm. Not available yet. Sunstone, sunstone, and moonstone. We can't produce moonstones. Can we? Eh, we can't produce sunstones. Just gotta build it, I guess. Unit up, upgrade human and mythological unit. Can we? I want to smite. Uh, you cannot smite a map, map tile that has a unit or token on it. Well, that kind of defeats the point, then, is it, don't it? Military commandment. Resource drops. Horses. Unit up. No, we're gonna have to wait for the mythological creature. Six more turns. What about you? Are you building anything? 20 bread for that thing. We have ale, missing wheat farm, bakery. So let's build a wheat farm. And let's build a bakery. It actually helps to read the tutorial sometimes. Sometimes. Not a, not every time, but... If you want to get somewhere, reading the tutorial seems like a good idea. What about you? Oh, the building is ruined because you got pwned by the bandits. Because we didn't have any siege weapons to destroy the keep. Oh, well. Oh, we give a little Valkyrie. Let's go for that one. Dun, 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 what about now? You're building bread. That's... They're destroying my Valkyrie. That's no good. Hmm. How about you now? Still needs more bread. Can I build outside of these walls? I do not believe so. New, no, I gotta build inside. Well, at least I can build in the mountains. But yeah, let's just keep going then. See how long we can survive. Valkyrie is taking a beating.
Ruins, immunity from non-god melee attacks. At, well, I am kind of losing it here. I'm not even gonna make it to Atlas Shrugs. Well, let's just keep going. See how long this... Oh, they built a siege weapon. <laughs> well, the red guys are pretty much done. Why can I not build a battering ram? I can build a Trojan horse, but I cannot build a battering ram. Why not? It doesn't say... Do we need to upgrade it in some way? Unit up? No allied units. Yeah. So let's go for the Minotaur. And those bandits are effing up the red joint. But hey, now I got, the, got a mythological creature on the blue side anyways. Hopefully he'll go for the bandits before he goes for the red ones. Unless he gets effed up as well. Ah, this game is a bit... Whoop, Atlas just shrugged. Crumble, the content temporary ceases growing. Yeah, you know what? I was kind of hoping this game would be... It looks... It looked really interesting in the screenshots. And, uh, well, there was a lot of text in about the game section, but I was kind of hoping for something else. I'm not really, I'm not even sure what I was hoping for, but this is not it. This is not engaging in the way I was hoping. It's an interesting strategy, or interesting take on the strategy genre, but, yeah. Not what I was looking for. Sorry to say. It's always nice when a game finds you or you find a game that appeals to you, but this is not it. New. Nope. This is just a tutorial. Maybe we'll play f uh, some more after we fail this tutorial and see if the actual gameplay is different, but I do believe it's all about balancing and see how long it can go. I mean, how many... <laughs> the red faction is getting his ass handed to it and a high hat with cherries on top. Yeah, we're gonna lose this and um, can frankly say that I am not interested in playing another game right now. Maybe we'll pick it up for a regular playthrough or at least try a regular game at another time. But nope, now we just want to fail this. Don't want to watch. Let's, let's see how far we can go without building anything new. There we go. Crumble. Or did we just lose buildings? Is there a button for this? In turn, chat. No, we do not need chat. No, doesn't seem to be a button for it. Hotkey unbound, of course. There we go. Miss score target only. Uh, don't care. You have lost. Take your time looking around. Then quit the main menu. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. The red faction is gone. It's not even gone. It's, it still has its houses and stuff. But it. I don't know if it's not connected to anything or something. I wonder if I could have moved these guys though. Ah, doesn't really matter. It was not that interesting as for a glance. Like I said, maybe we'll get into it at another time, but no, not right now. Sorry to say. Exit, game, quit the main menu. So that was uh, a failed attempt at trying to get into Skyward Collapse. So until next time, happy gaming. Floods, serial killers, guild strikes, and vegetarian uprising. 
Every game plays out differently and you'll need even the craziest of your powers in order to survive what lies to survive what lies in store for you. Very much a uh, complicated text, very not really sure the English is there all the way, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see what the game has to offer, shall we? Let's go for a tutorial, please. Your job as the creator is to achieve balance. Red and blue will try to obliterate each other and you must find a way for both of them to thrive without our Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment is Skyward Collapse. It is developed and published by either Arken Games or Arson Games. It's spelled with a C, but I'm not actually sure if you're supposed to pronounce it with a S or a K. Here's what the game has to say about itself. How do you balance and indeed encourage a war between factions without letting either side obliterate the other? How do you rule over gods, creatures and men who refuse to obey you? How do you build a landscape of villages when bandits and mythology are conspiring to tear it down? Skyward Collapse places you into the role of the creator and frees you to tackle these problems. Let's, tr let's try that one again. Skyward's Collab places you in the role of the creator and frees you to tackle these problems on your own way. Brought to you by the developer of the modern strategy classic AI Wars Fleet Commander, Arkan's second full strategy title is e equally unique but far easier to learn. A turn-based 4x strateg <laughs> strategy god game. Your task is to build and populate the floating continent of, continent of Luminith you create but cannot control gods, creatures, and either side getting wiped out. This tutorial will guide you through one of the ways to set up your world, but this is far from the only way to do so. Follow the instructions at the top of your screen to progress. If you want to reread re the full instructions for your current step, however, your hover your cursor over the one-liner at the top of the screen. Later on in the game, the part that part of the screen will warn you of upcoming events called woes and that you will need to be prepared for. You can oh, upcoming events called woes that you need to be prepared for. You can hover over those too. The reason why I'm reading this so meticulously is because I've skipped the tutorials before and it has gotten me exactly and artifacts from both Greek and Norse mythology. The power you wield with these is immense. Heimdall's horn causes everybody outdoor to drop dead for crying out loud. I should probably have <laughs> read that a little more dramatic. Let's try it one more time. The power you wield with these is immense. Heimdall's horn causes everybody outdoors to drop dead for crying out loud. Your task is to keep both factions alive and fighting until the master calls you home. But this is harder than it sounds. Bandits keep pop up, pop up, pop up, <laughs> Bandit keeps pop up periodically. As do vows such as 